Hello and welcome to a tutorial to make our own levels. In today's video, we are going to learn the basics on how to design our own levels in VRT. This opens a whole new world of possibilities for us and what we can do in the simulator as we can cook up some new levels that represent our vision of what a robot wants to do. A good example is to, let's say you wanted your robot to navigate a custom maze you built yourself. Let's begin by opening any mat. In my case, I'm starting with the cleanup challenge mat. Now we want to open the objects window and delete both the robot and the table. We can leave the objects windows open for now as we'll come back to it in the future because the object window will contain all the objects in the environment. To start adding things of your own, open the object library window and look for primitives. Like any good level, we need a floor. So let's grab the plane object and drag it into the world. The last window we need to open is object properties. In this window, we can alter and move our plane. Under the Transform tab, we want to click on Reset. This will send our new floor to coordinates 000. Most levels have walls to keep the robot and other objects from falling off. Let's go back to our object library and look for a cube under the Primitives tab. That cube is massive, too big for what we intend for. This is because by default the objects are a scale of 1, 1, 1, which is the scale of 1 meter. So let's play with the scale values till we get something that looks like a wall. Please note to not touch the values under the dimensions tab as this can cause many problems in the future. Let's see, if I change the value for x and y to 0 0.05 and leave z alone, aha, we have a wall. Now let's line it up to the edge of the mat by selecting our wall and clicking and dragging one of the three arrows that are presented to us. The green, blue, and red arrows represent x, y, and z axis we move on. If the arrow turned yellow, this means it is what you have currently selected, so don't panic if a color changes or completely disappears. After we have four walls to surround our floor, we want to look into the objects window and highlight all four walls. We will now drag these four walls into the floor so they are grouped together. Your object window should look like mine when it's done. Oops, we almost forgot. We don't want these walls to move, do we? So let's make sure they don't move. Under Object Properties, we are going to navigate to Rigid Body tab. Under this tab, we will see the word Kinematic and check the box next to it. The Kinematic object won't move. It is glued to its coordinates. This is what we want. So we want to check this box for all four of our walls. We'll import our robot or drag one from the object library onto the mat. Now let's ask ourselves a few questions and how we can improve this level. Is the level too small? Are the walls too low? Do we want small cubes that are not kinematic that can be pushed around? The power of creation is in your hands. But wait, this world is kind of bland. Since everything is gray and there's not much to see. So let's add some textures. In Object Properties, under the Material and Texture tab, we'll see the word Diffuse and a plus and minus sign. Let's select on Diffuse to highlight it, and then click on the minus button. This will delete it. Now let's click on the plus button, and inside the window that greets us, we'll select Standard Speculiar Setup. This will give us a new material texture to work with, sort of like how a painter needs a canvas to work on. Now let's add a texture to the floor. Click on what looks like a pencil in Object Properties under the Materials tab. Left click on the empty box in our new window called Edit Material. Another window will pop up and we are presented with a list of various textures. We can also import our own by selecting Browse. Great if we want to add custom colors or textures to various objects in the level. You can also design your own exercises in Paint or another program you are comfortable with. Now let's add one more thing to make this level a little bit more complete, light. Under the environment tab at the top, we want to add light and select a directional light. By default, it points to the side, so let's change it so it's pointing down towards our mat. We can alter it further in object properties if we wish, but this will do for now. There we are, we created our first level. We hope you enjoyed this video today and learned something new. Thanks for joining us.